These plums have been taken care of the entire year. They are now ripe, they're ready to be harvested, to be stored, transported and to be brought to the consumer's table. FAO in Georgia is supporting the producers and the farmers to support sustainable production, to increase the harvest and to reduce also the costs by introducing best knowledge agriculture practices as well as also modern technology through direct investment. These plums are now going to the cold storage, which was also supported by FAO. In the last two years, FAO and the European Union awarded a total amount of 6 million euro as a matching grant to the agricultural producers in Georgia. Georgian farmers, rural households, cooperatives and small and medium producers could make capital investments, purchase new tractors and machinery, optimize processing and storage with a new automated solutions and buy equipment for large-scale dairy, vegetable and fruit productions. This fruit storage facility was supported with cold chamber technology, two forklifts, a tractor and a trailer. Surabia, this is very uh, impressive uh, investment and I think uh, it shows the modern uh, technology. Um, how do you think this investment from FAO's side and financed by the European Union is further helping you to expand uh, and also to progress? <laughs> Besides the agricultural investment, FAO also supports rural development. Over the past three years, more than 600 farmers received common or individual support within the Austrian Development Cooperation Finance Project. Locals in four communities were able to expand their businesses in the poultry, beekeeping, dairy and other agricultural sectors. The project also provided an outpatient clinic, children's dance and football clubs and a school with necessary equipment. In the Plevi community, the problem with the drinking water has been solved. Now more than 100 people have access to sufficient drinking water by installing two modern water supply systems with project funds. This initiative eased women's life who had to carry water from the nearby spring for cooking, washing and cleaning. Nino, how did this new water supply uh, change your life? Establishment of a fully functional national animal identification and traceability system is one of the most important achievements of the ongoing FAO program in Georgia. The project is financed by the Swiss and Austrian governments. The system records all information of a large and a small ruminant. It is like a passport. The animal identification and traceability system is very important for food safety in Georgia. Identification of animal and animal origin products is supporting the consumer's health. So let's see how this is going to work. Every meat product is supposed to have a label which provides the information for the consumer about the origins of the meat product. The label can be scanned with a QR code reader, then the information about the meat origins will appear on the screen in a second. So we are scanning, the QR code is uh, popping up and is going to the website. The information which you can see is where it's born, who has slaughtered it, how it was raised and who was holding it. The animal identification system is in Georgia one of the first ones introduced in, in the region and many other countries would like to benefit also from this in order to support their food safety system. FAO also supports the Ministry of Environmental Protection and Agriculture of Georgia in effective policy formulation to facilitate implementation of the national strategies for agriculture, rural development and extension. 
The projects implemented by FAO in Georgia are based on the country programming framework, a general agreement between FAO and the Georgian government, which highlights country priorities and FAO actions. Supporting extension is one of the priority areas of FAO in Georgia, but the lack of extension is also one of the key challenges for the farmers. On the other hand, agriculture can be one of the key drivers in order to reduce rural poverty and to ensure that nobody is left behind. But for this, we need a very good extension service in order to allow the farmers to get this knowledge to produce sustainable, to produce more and to produce more effective. This tomato field, and particularly also this tomato, is an excellent demonstration where trainings can uh, take place for the farmers of the region. FAO's agronomists under the EU-supported NPART program have arranged up to 100 demo plots in the last three years. Best agricultural practices, new varieties of vegetables and cereals and modern technologies are widely showcased in Georgia through the demo plots. Farmers get together here, listen to the agronomists and lead farmers and share information amongst each other. Now they are harvesting tomatoes and jalapeno which is a new, non-traditional vegetable in Georgian agriculture. You know, this looks very impressive, what we have here, uh, what has been now so far uh, produced. Could you tell us how this uh, all started? Two screen houses with the highest standards have been established by the FAO, financed by the European Union to preserve the national repository of fruit trees and endemic grape wines in Georgia and to improve the gene bank conditions in the state research station. These greenhouses with the total area of 800 square meters will allow to safely store the live collection of Georgian endemic varieties of grapes as well as European varieties of table grapes. The European Union and FAO are jointly working to support the establishment of seed and seedling certification systems in Georgia and will allow Georgian nurseries to come closer to European standards. Levan, how is the establishment of this greenhouse from FAO helping you in uh, producing better and also more wine in Georgia? I'm very excited because this room is going to be filled in a couple of minutes with a lot of enthusiastic and particularly also young people because we are celebrating the National Agriculture Olympiad 2022 with a lot of partners in order to provide the winners with their award prizes. The Olympiad will contribute to increase the interest in agrarian education, the involvement of more people in agriculture and development of both agriculture and the agrarian sector in general. The Olympiad will allow us to promote the individuals who have in-depth knowledge and qualification in the agriculture field. On the other hand, we can make agriculture education more popular among the youth. We believe that these motivated, knowledgeable young individuals will broadly contribute to the rural and agriculture development of Georgia.